How are you doing? So here are my thoughts when it comes to tier lists and rankings. Um, I don't really do them because they're misleading. And I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. And I saw this video on YouTube that pretty much motivated me to do it today. Or right now. That I miss when it comes to tier lists, I think they're misleading. That's why I don't really do it. Okay. Um, I saw this video, this guy, I have nothing good to say about this guy, so I'm not going to mention his name or his YouTube channel. So he makes this tier list or rankings, top 25 champions, like, seems like every other day, I suppose maybe every, you know, once a week, who knows, but, and then, you know, he makes his top 25, um, Best champion running with suicide masteries. Champion best running without suicide masteries. Unawaken. Awaken. Hi, Sig. You know, Sig won. I mean, it's ridiculous. He, It's like all over. That's, and the thing is, that's all he really does in his YouTube channel. I mean, once in a while, there's some damage comparison. Which I think is probably the best thing in his channel. Is the damage comparison. But that's it. That's it. And I don't want to say like. You know, like, it's like, I, I you know, I told them this, you know, don't be a sheep because, you know, she, saying sheep is kind of, I would say it's a harsh word, but I did say that, you know, don't be a sheep, just don't follow everybody else, you know, just because they say this champion is good, you shouldn't say that, you know, make that, you know, say that the ghost is number one running suicide mastery is just because somebody else said it you know don't be a sheep wake up you know have a thought of yourself on your own because somebody else might say that but it doesn't mean that for another person that ghost is number one uh, running suicide masteries you know what i mean and you know and if it was like this guy is not really that good you know i mean he's not a terrible mcoc player but he's no like Bureau Man or Sweda. Okay. If Bureau Man said that Ghost is the best champion in the game, I mean he has videos to prove that. And I would say that's a he has credibility. Uh if KT1, who I don't like as a MCOC YouTuber, even though I don't like him as an MCOC YouTuber, you know, if he says Quake is the best champion in the game, I would respect his opinion because he has videos to back this up. This guy, he makes, and this guy, he's not really good. He, you know, he says Ghost is the best, Quake is the best, you know, all kinds of different tier lists. And he has no videos to prove that, you know. And I really think that's misleading because just because it's good for someone else, it's not mean it's good for you, you know. I made a video on um uh, comparison who is the best mcoc champion in the game and i compared diablo uh ghost and quake okay and uh, um diablo soloed winter soldier without synergies um same ghost and quake it wasn't even close okay to be fair, I I, I gave um, Quake, you know, 10% attack boost as well as a synergy team because there's obviously class advan class disadvantage against Winter Soldier. But it wasn't even close. I mean, he only took 7% health. I mean, he had 9... Winter Soldier still had 93% health left. Okay. And I compared it. I even compared it with my 4-star rank 5 Diablo. And by the way, I was using Autofight if I hadn't mentioned it. Okay. I was using Autofight and Autofight Diablo soloed it. Without Synergy. It was a 5-star rank 5. And Ghost and Quake, it wasn't even close as a 5-star rank 5 using Autofight. Okay. And my 4-star rank 5 Diablo was able to... Do as much damage as Quake as a four star. Think about it. Okay, to be fair, Quake was only. Uh, I mean, Quake does a class disadvantage as, 
and she was only sig one at the same time come on that's a five star compared to four star that's a big difference in the game so say that the reason why i made that video i'll post down the link below just because for a skilled player you could say you can make an argument that ghost or quake is the best champion in the game it doesn't mean that it's the best champion for everybody else you know and auto i used auto fight to, to really tell you like okay these are pretty much how beginners play if you tell a beginner who doesn't know what anything about the game who's the best champion in the game it's ghost or quake and they you know they rank five him as a four star or even as a five star and be like man i i suck with ghost or quake because they don't know how to play with those champions they're new to the game it takes a lot of time plus you have to kind of like like their play style maybe they you know maybe not the play style for them with diablo he's so easy to play with you know it's not difficult to play with so i think a beginner or even some cases as an average mcoc player Diablo is better than Ghost or Quake. And I have a video to prove that using auto fight. I'll post down the link below. So I think it's misleading tier list. That's why I don't make them. You know. And if you're going to make a tier list. You should back it up. You know. If you say Quake is the best. You sh or Ghost is the best. You should make videos saying that. You know. Every time I make a video. Let's just start with uh, Cable. He was one of my favorite champions. I said he's the best horseman champion in the game. And I have plenty of videos to say that. To to back that up. I can't say Quake or Ghost is the best champion in the game. Without videos to back that up. Why would I say they're the best if I don't even have videos to back that up? It doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, I'm not, you know. I, I say K because, you know, that's not my. It's like. If I had a tier list, they're not going to be the best champion in the game. That's for me. That's my tier list. You know, that's not their tier list or everybody, anybody else. That's my tier list. Okay. Because I can't prove that Quake and Ghost is the best champion without their, without gameplay to prove it. Why would I say? So another thing I said was Diablo was the best buff in 2021. Best Mystic Champion running Suicide Masteries. I have videos to back that up. I also said what? King Groot was the best tune-up buff in MCOC. I have videos to back that up. You know? And uh, when I was doing 6.2.6 completion run. I was using um, King Groot. 6 out of 9 fights when I was doing the itemless completion. I soloed with king root six fights out of nine fights was king root and i finished with a hundred percent health out of the six fights a hundred percent health with king root okay and i said you know and i said i was like this is the best team to do completion with you know against um the champion boss and i proved it by you know solo i mean doing itemless run with the champion boss you know you know so um so i when i say something i you know i prove it i just don't you know talk is cheap if you're gonna say something prove it and you know also i said aegon was the best champion in the game you know uh, i i was being more specific in longer fights when he's fully ramped up i think he's the best champion in the game and when i did my completion when it comes to labyrinth of legends I used only a four star Aegon to do a completion. That's it. Nobody else I use in that to do a completion. Just four star Aegon to do my first completion. And I don't even know which path I took. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the easy path either. Okay. And I I think Angela, uh after twenty wins, I think he's comparable to Aegon. Maybe arguably even better. Uh and I think after 30 fights there's no question i think angela is the best champion in the game she's really literally broken after 30 wins i mean you know i soloed 30 straight fights in 6.1.3 i said i i said that that angela comes to long fights she's the best champion in the game and i proved it in 6.1.3 i have a video for that you know she sold 30 straight fights okay
and actually when I was doing my itemless run she pretty much sold the entire the entire you know uh, exploration just her except one fight that was it Angela because she's really good when it comes to long fights and when I did the completion run every time I did a completion run you know completed it uh, um, I finished with a hundred percent health with Angela after like 35 fights I finished with a hundred percent health with Angela that's how good she is when it comes to long fights and I said like I said it you know like after 20 wins and definitely arguably Angela and for sure by 30 wins Angela is the best champion in the game with Odin Synergy I don't know if I mentioned that but with Odin Synergy okay she's just literally broken with Odin Synergy after a long a very long fight and I've proven that with a video I think Angela in theory is like you know it really varies you know she has so much potential she could have the most you know, depending on how long the fight is, she has capable, to, has the most possible region in the game. She could have the highest armor in the game, the highest critical rating in the game, highest damage in the game. Um, if depending how long the fight is, because every fight with all this energy, he the buff potency increases. It's not even like linear. A lot of people mistaken that it's linear. It's actually. Uh, ex I don't want to say exponential, but close to exponential, somewhere in the middle between linear and exponential, because of because of the app because of the altitude buff. So yeah, Angela is really good when it comes to long fight, and I said that he is she is the best when it comes to long fights, twenty or more wins, and I proved that with the video. So so if you're gonna say something, back it up with a video. Talk is cheap. Just don't say something, you know, make a tier list on based on any uh, what other people are saying. Base it on your tier list, not not nobody else. You know, not to sound like a hypocrite. I did say that Kitty Pride was better than Ghost, even though before she even came out, just by reading her abilities and you know, watching a few highlights from Marvel Contest of Champion. I really said that she's better than Ghost. And only time will tell. If she's not better than Ghost, then you know, you can criticize me, give me a dislike, whatever. Cuss at me, I don't really care. But, you know, only time will tell. When it, I do believe Kitty Pride is better than Ghost, though. Only time will tell. We'll see. If I'm wrong, you can criticize me. So, yeah, there you go. Thank you.